I didn't find fighting. Fighting chose me. I had a rough upbringing in Jamaica. You know, if you wasn't tough, you wasn't gonna make it out of there. I used it as a fuel to my fire. And the champion has been defeated! I bring my life into the cage. Jumping every day, in and out. Jackson on top of the world! That's why I have this sitting on my shoulder right here. I gotta come back out strong, keep it coming. I didn't make me a better individual, a better role model, and a good friend by going out there and doing what I said I'm gonna do. This is my way of connecting with the world, achieving my goals that I set out to do. And once people witness that, they become inspired by that and make them want to chase their goal no matter what they're doing. Mom of the league came out here and did a sprint one time to one of this camp in Miami. Because fighting is fighting. It doesn't matter if you're going in a cage or you have to get up every day to like do a regular job. You still have to fight. We just set a record. That was eight minutes and 30 seconds. My warm up normally would be 10. So, tasting the rabbit, postman. I discovered that champion mindset when I was put in the position to where I was going float or sink. Let's go, we're gonna get some hill sprints. I went my back against the wall, and I had to fight. Who gonna win? Let him wait down there while we get down there. It's just, I discovered that grit inside of me. It wasn't something that I knew I had. Straight to the top. You know, you have to have a heart of a champion, especially when it comes to hard time, overtime, when it get tough. Ready, set, go. If you have consistency in your life and dedication and discipline, you don't have to think no more. You just have to do your best. And want nothing less, nothing more, just your best. And if you do your best, your best will only become better. then you won't have to think about doing your best. It will just become something natural that you do every single time you do something because you just practice doing your best so much that's all you know how to do. And that's what separates you from the rest. This is where, you know, I come and find peace throughout the day. People have man cave and all the stuff that they do. I come back here and take care of my chickens. I don't think about nothing whenever I'm back here, just the chicken and me. I didn't find fighting. Fighting chose me. They love worm. They can't resist these things right here. You're crazy for that mealworm. I had a rough upbringing in Jamaica before I migrated to the United States. It's the closest thing that keep me to nature, you know what I'm saying? And keep me a little grounded. Because when we get into the sea life and sometimes we get on, on top, you know, we forget where we come from and the nature and all that stuff, you know, forget. So I try to stay close to nature as possible. I had a fight to survive to get that meal, you know, the small little village that we grew up in, in Clarendon. And, you know, if you wasn't tough, you wasn't gonna make it out of there. It's always, always playing a different role throughout the day. <laughs> I knew I had a physical advantage over many MMA fighter and athlete because the lifestyle, the upbringing that I had. I was training in the gym and working outside the gym and not making an excuse whenever I'm inside the gym. Just gotta suit up. The work that I chose to do, there was no indoor job. I need the AC. 
I was in the sun, in the hot sun in Florida, selling coconut, washing cars, cutting trees, doing all this stuff in one day and training on top of it. I didn't make no excuse. He lied. That's not what happened. Yeah. My kids is the reason why I do it every single day. You know, I want to set that blueprint so they don't have to go search anywhere. It's right there in front of them. Oh, there's a um, woodpecker nest up there, and I don't want to cut it down. I don't care about the birds and stuff. You know, I have a family, so, you know, family is everything. I want to make sure they have a safe home and everything going. There's no way we could do this. I, I started from nothing, which is in Jamaica, and I'm here in the land of opportunity in America. And I'm blessed, I'm blessed to say I'm a champion. I've been making my mom proud, you know what I'm saying, especially when she see me on TV and holding this title and going out there and fighting on the biggest network, biggest show. Bellator, PFL, you know, a lot of people from the small little village that we're from right now I don't even have that opportunity and I'm here with a smile on my face like as a better man. Two for 10, three for 15. All the struggles and everything that I've been through make me the man I am today and I'm thankful for it. Time to switch into fighter mode. The champ is here. The life I live outside the gym, I bring it into the gym. Time to convert. Everything outside the cage applies inside the cage. It's what motivate me to push myself inside the cage. I just can't believe it. I can't lay off until when I get the job done. So much nerves each time I step inside that cage. Not just nerve of fearing the next man, but nerve of not achieving my goals, everything that I set out to do, how hard I work to get where I am. Every single time I prove myself right, those nerves never go away. That guy's like this ball. You cannot hit him with the elbow. Right? He's underneath you, or you're gonna miss. That guy's too short. But anyways, stay low. Beating Ramazan does show anything. He's nothing different from the rest. I'm stronger than him. I'm faster than him. And I'm hungry than him. I'm not overlooking him. I'm bringing the same attitude. I always have something to prove. And the reason why I have something to prove is the fact that they feel like this guy could beat me. feel disrespected. So I'm gonna prove to them like, all right, you guys gonna have to do better than that. I'm the better fighter, for sure. And people will see that. I'm not saying it just to say it. Hard work is all I, I know. That's why I have this sitting on my shoulder right here. This is new generation coach, just hard work. Appreciate it. Let's go, guys. One, two, three. I'm I'm this. This. Look at that. The future Look at champ that. right here, yeah? Ooh, yeah. yeah, the future champ yeah. right here. Right, here you go. Five dollar, brother. Yeah, if I put it on the tap. Don't worry, yeah? Good. He said he's gonna put it on the tap. <laughs> we support each other. We get better with each other. So he he helped me, I help him. That's how we get to the top.